Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. It's in that religion where a man of God that is married we sleep with all the whole church members. It doesn't happen during our, our, the time of our forefathers. It was not there. It was not happening. It's only in Christian where the man of God knows that this one is a married woman. He's a church member. He sleeps with her. In Zambia, one idiot that called himself uh, John General. He left his wife at home and followed the woman to go and sleep with her. Not just in a not just in a hotel. At least you respect the husband of that lady. At least you respect where, where is the fear of God? According to you, those of you that say shaky mama, especially Pentecostal, this is the most useless organization on earth, Pentecostal. Criminal organization. Evil organization. John General left his house, followed a woman in a house, a married woman for that matter. To make the matter worse, if at least you respect, if that, if your penis cannot be quiet, if your penis, you can't control it, call the woman out, do it in the parlor. You can't sleep with a married woman on the bed where she sleeps with her husband. It means you have already killed that man. That man will never recover from that trauma from generation to generation. At least... It's only in Christian where you see these things happening. Our forefathers could not do this. In the, during the days of our forefathers, if you sleep with somebody that is not your wife, they will kill you. You will die. But today, what is happening? Eh? Men of God that preach the gospel are the ones. Okay, that's why, to me, people look at me, ah, ah, see, I want, see, I want, is a satanist. See, I want, don't believe in Bible. I cannot believe in the Bible that you are reading the same Bible that I'm reading and you are doing a different thing. I cannot be a fool. The people that brought that Bible to me now tells me that a man can now marry a man. And you are a fool. To believe everything that you read. I can't. That is not see one. You must you must live by example. If you wrote this Bible and say this is A, that A must remain A forever and ever. Not tomorrow you come and change A and make A to B and B to A, and then you tell me to believe it. I'm not a fool. It is happening. It's only now in this Christian where a man of God. He doesn't have a gun, but he can use Bible to rob you. A man came here in my church, in Imo State now. A man came from Dubai. When he arrived in Nigeria, he had a problem. And he went to a man of God, a prophet, said, please help me solve this problem. That man of God scammed him all the lands he bought. Everything he had. And left him homeless. As we speak now, that man is in Nigeria. He doesn't have money to go back to Dubai. The reason why he went to the man of God didn't even happen. They couldn't solve the problem until he met Sia One. The one they call Satanist. I started solving the problem. That is why I always tell you this. If you are married, 
and your wife. Love your man of God more than you. Divorce her. What did I say? Divorce her. Don't open your mouth and say, God hates divorce. God has never married before, so he doesn't, he doesn't, he has not tested marriage. Jesus has never married before, he has not tested marriage. Moses, uh, not Moses, uh, 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 Peter, most of the people in the Bible that did, they didn't marry. So don't come and say God hates divorce. He didn't test marriage. If marriage doesn't go well, divorce. If you don't have power to put your husband in a bottle and your husband is running up and down, you don't have the finances to put him in a, in a bottle and your husband is going from skate to skate, skate to skate, skate to skate and you are still in that marriage because you believe that one day he will change. He won't change. He will bring sickness and give you. He will die. I'm telling you the gospel truth. The truth I'm telling you, no one is going to tell it to you. No one is going to tell you this truth. If you are married, on Sunday, you go to church. On Monday, your wife, women's meeting. On Tuesday, usher meeting. On Wednesday, workers daily. On Friday, she's always in the church. Leave her for that pastor. Look for another woman and marry. Go and marry another lady. Leave that one for your pastor. I'm telling you something that you I'm telling you something that will help you. I'm telling you something that will build you. It's only in Christianity where you find robbery. It's only in Christianity where a man of God will be bold enough to tell his congregation to give him the, their whole salary of January. Who doesn't know that January is the toughest month in every year? January is the month that many people kill themselves. In December, spending is inevitable. No matter how good you are in spending, you cannot control it. You must spend Eager spend relego. You must spend money in December. It's a guarantee. Whether you like it or not, even if you say, okay, I'm not going anywhere. Let me stay in my house. Once you open your door, money has left your pocket. Just opening the door, money has left your pocket. Now, January is the toughest month to everybody. Even me, no matter how blessed I am, January shakes me. Because January bill is here, bill is there, bill is there, bill is there. You pay this bill, you pay this bill. And a man of God has the courage and God to tell you to say, all your salary in January, bring it to me. It's your first fruit. It can only happen in Christianity. And there are zombies. Christian is where you find a lot of zombies. A lot of people that don't have brain. If you want to see them, come to Christianity, you'll see them. A lot of people that are useless, they are there. Some, some even wear suit. Some wear the best dress on earth, but in their brain, there is charcoal. There is nothing at all. They will carry their whole salary as first fruit in the month of January and give to the pastor. Pastor will use it and solve his January problem. Who doesn't have a problem? I wish I'm the one you are, you are giving. It can help me to solve my January problem. Now, pastor will use that money and solve his problems. How about your problems at home? Eh? Is your pastor also going to give you his first fruit to solve your problem? To pay your children's school fees? To pay your house rent? This is where the Bible says that people perish because of lack of what? Knowledge. He wants you. You perish because you don't have knowledge. Not because he's not seeing you. He's seeing you, but you perish. You carry all your salary. Your salary comes. Boom. And you know salary earners. You people that eat salary. You know that before salary come, many of you, before salary come, you have already budgeted for it. Some go to rent. 
the people that you are owing, this ones and this one. Some of you took money from the bank. You, you are paying loan. Now, that money comes, boom, 100,000. You carry the whole 100,000 and give to the man of God. How are you going to pay your loan? Tomorrow, when you die of high BP, the man of God will say, Oh, our brother has gone to heaven to be with the Lord. But he doesn't want to go to heaven himself to be with the Lord. <laughs> he wants to be here. <laughs> He's sending you to heaven to go to heaven and be with the Lord. But him, he wants to be here. <laughs> Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.